there's a certain feeling in your chest when you know that someone has been emotionally unfaithful to you, whether that's in your romantic relationship or it's in a platonic friendship, ladies. You ever felt your friends slipping away and not understood why and not understood why they wouldn't prioritize you or why they wouldn't invest into the relationship? And this is a theme that I deal with so often in counseling. You would be surprised. So, so many people that call from all over the world, it doesn't matter what age they are. They could be in their 60s and 70s and 80s or they're in their 20s and they are worried about friendship dynamics. Now we know the romantic dynamic, you know, as a, a reader or an empath, one of the main questions that you will get is about love and romance. And that happens to be my specialty is love and romance. I pay a particular attention to relationship dynamics and am a bit of a nerd about the psychological and sociological aspects and parasocial relationships that are happening at all times, especially in this internet world the way that we kind of relate to one another and date, but the way that we also befriend one another. And when you have cultivated in this instantaneous world, something that feels lasting and powerful and energetic that will carry you. And you notice that it no longer is serving your highest good or that the other person is not engaging in a healthy norm of reciprocity. It can be soul crushing. I recently, had the opportunity to experience that firsthand. I will be making a video about it in the coming weeks or months, depending on how long it takes for me to process that. But what I want you to understand is not so much about the pain of a shifting dynamic or a person who no longer seems to value you in the same way. What I want to teach and what I volunteered to come to this earth to do is to have these moments that are painful so that I can teach. And uh, I don't remember signing that on the universal waiver, but apparently I signed up for pain and rejection and all of the lessons that come in human form so that I could evolve and help you to evolve as well. I want you guys to give a big loving embrace and energy send out to all of the readers that you see on this platform because in order for them to do the work they did they had to cultivate and till the soil in their own yards and that means that things were difficult uncomfortable and painful and they also carry us we are so love lucky to get all of this delicious content and you can just click away until you find someone you connect with and I don't think any one of us has all of the answers. I think we each have a nuanced way of delivering it. But that's my little PSA about love your practitioners. Respect them. Respect their prices. Respect what they are charging. Because when I tell you, we do a lot of soul searching. A lot of us are not just up here pulling cards. There are some fantastic energy readers and psychics, mediums, clairvoyance, clairaudience here on this channel. Anyway, that is, that's it. But I'm bum, I'm down off my box. Thank you, Mr. Uh, James, one of the YouTubers that I like to watch. I'm down off my soapbox. Now, the universe wants you to understand when you are going through what feels like a separation or a rejection or something that you wouldn't normally want to even engage in. You think, I don't like this. I don't want to do this. I'm going to hold on to my old patterns. I'm going to hold on to my old ways. I'm going to hold on to the old behaviors. And the universe says, no, you have to grow. You have to grow. And so you release it. But you do it like this. I mean, you're holding on to it. And you're like, no. I'm not releasing it. I'm not releasing it because you're worried that there will be nothing that will be in its space. And you also are grieving maybe the investment of time and energy and wondering how could this return to me void? How did I get this wrong? Well, what I realized as I was in my puddle of despair and sadness, dealing with my illness, dealing with all of the things, what I realized is that I... I'm always loved and protected by source, by God, by the angels that are dispatched, by guides, by whoever, whatever the moniker is you give them. For me, they're angels. For you, they can be whatever. But we are always being communicated with. 
and energy is shared, even if it doesn't feel like it. The day that I made the decision to say, I love me more than I love you, and I'm not willing to exist in this toxic dynamic where you will not take any responsibility, because I've grown and I deserve more. I don't love for crumbs anymore. The very same day <laughs> that I decided to do this thing that I had agonized over, I did it about three o'clock in the morning, as one does. <laughs> that is an empath hour if ever there was one. Um, and by 3 p.m. that day, I had received an anonymous bouquet from a wonderful friend. A friend who had kind of known that I was going through the situation and had over the two and a half years that I had weighed, should I pull the plug on this? Should I continue? What is, what is there here for me? Am I misreading this? You know, sometimes we empaths can overthink. I certainly am guilty of that. And we are always working to evolve through levels of past relationship patterns, trauma, dependencies, codependencies. I feel like you can heal and feel like you've achieved a level. And I'm going to make a video about this, but I thought I had level unlocked, right? I thought, oh, I'm doing so good here. But then the universe says, ah, 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 there's another level uh, and another lesson. You know, some people say new level, new devil. Uh, I don't think this person was a devil, but I think that this person was a lesson. So what I will say is that as I was in my despair, I did not ask for this. I didn't solicit it. I didn't know it was coming, but I received this beautiful uh, bou bouquet of um, lovely flowers. And the person did not sign the card, but the note on the card says... Monette, I know today is going to be a hard day for you. Sending you love and a big fat hug. Can you guys see that? Sending you love and a big fat hug. So it's almost like the universe wrote this. Now, some of you guys may be recipients of notes from the universe, which is uh, Mike Dooley's baby that he started way back around the time of The Secret, maybe a little bit before The Secret, and it got super popular and he was on Oprah and all that stuff. So I'm going to move these out of the way. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should keep them here as a physical reminder just for a moment more. But um, what I realized is that I had released. I had released the thing I was clenching in my fist saying, I, I alone can fix this. I alone can change it. Very empath behavior, very codependent behavior. Uh, that is something that was newly revealed to me. It was an amazing experience. It was painful. But what I realized is that the universe is there to literally catch you. And I thought it was just a coincidence. I was like, oh, these flowers are beautiful. And I started texting um, the two friends that I thought it may have came from. And uh, in the meantime, I got a download to go check and see what was going on because I was having issues with the website. You know, you're always working when you're a small business. And I wasn't receiving emails. And then I looked and I had uh, several readings that people had put in that were affected by the retrograde. So I was dealing with that. And that was a confirmation about my, my path and what I'm supposed to do. And then I kept looking and I happened to be on my phone. And for whatever reason, I was at 37% when it was 337. So I looked up the number 3737 because I said, okay, that's an angel number. What are you guys talking to me about? And I'm going to read this to you guys. I will make a separate video just about this quickly. If you just need a quick hit, you don't want to sit through the story, but it's a confirmation from your guardian angels that your efforts are being supported by the divine realm. Okay. So the next time you feel like your prayers are not being heard, your angels are sending you the number 3737 to tell you that whatever you're planning to do will be backed by the universe. Your plans are aligned with your life purpose and your soul mission. So keep up the good work. You may not see it, but your angels are applauding your efforts. You can be excited about it or you cannot be, but it is in the cards for you and whatever you've been working on is going to manifest sooner or later. They want you to, your angels that is, explore things that deepen uh, deepen your relationships with people who love and support you. Now guys, what was I dealing with? A crushing realization, uh, a rejection, um, someone that didn't show up for me and I felt 
terrible and I didn't understand I thought I'd shown up for you in all the ways I don't understand this and so what do my angels come in to say first they say we're going to shift your energy here are the flowers and then they say we want you to explore the things that you are passionate about and deepen your relationships with people who love and support you or in the way I read it, who actually love and support you. This is how you can truly determine what it is not only that you want to do with your life. And when you're feeling confused or scared, remember that your angels are there. They're asking you not to live your life in worry and that things have to fall apart before you can rebuild, but know that you will be just fine. This is just how life works and you need to be thankful for both the good and the bad experiences. Some things have to break down before they can come together. This way you can truly appreciate having them in your life. The angel number 37 acknowledges that the things you're doing to get closer to your goals are right. Be confident about your abilities and know that you're being guided. Focus on good intentions and remove the bad thoughts. The uh, true and secret influence is about wisdom and clarity. You're being sent this number because you possess these two gifts or because you will need to have more wisdom and clarity in your life. It may require insight and your angels are confident that you'll be able to work out. There are issues that you need to resolve by trusting what your instincts are telling you. My instincts in the weeks leading up to not only me not being well, but dealing with this cataclysmic shift in a, in a dear, deep friendship were pinging for months, <laughs> not just weeks. I mean, we, this was, this is maybe even years, but I, when you love someone, I heard this quote, I think it might be from Bo, Horseman, Bo, Borman, Horseman Jack. I don't know. It's a, it's a cartoon here in America, but I, but the quote is, um, when you have on rose colored glasses, all the flags just look like flags. The red flags don't look like anything. They just look like celebration. <laughs> like, oh, we love this for you. This is great. Well, I wasn't looking at things in a healthy way. Um, and so angel number three, seven is telling you to trust your inner voice and come up with the best decision. Trust your instincts. They're seldom wrong. So go with your gut. And we start where we, where we, Go continue where we began. Issues with my gut just flared up right before this happened. So when it comes to love, the angel number three, seven means you will soon break free from emotional chains. You can now say goodbye to everything that's been causing you pain in your relationship and move on to new and better things. This is good news. And even if you don't feel like the end of your relationship is the end of your happiness, your angels want to reassure you that it may feel like it, but it will not be. You win or lose at love, but you will always move on. Some heartbreaks just take a little while to get over, but you will find love and happiness again. That angel number wants you to be true to yourself and be brave enough to make the tough decisions. It can be the most difficult thing you'll ever have to do when it comes to love, but it sets your heart free. Don't let fear of the heartbreak and the rejection keep you from having the love that you deserve. I am not loving for crumbs anymore. Your angels want you to know that you deserve the best kind of love there is, and soon it will come and find you. They want you to understand that you are being watched by the divine realm. They want you to understand that the most significant message behind this is that your life will be supported fully by the universe. They want you to push for what you want to do. They want you to understand your milestones and that you're working hard and that your angels are proud of you. This is a sign that you're on the right track. And in times of certainty and fear, don't give up. Your garden angels will never let you get distracted from your destined path. So rest assured that there's nothing that you can't handle without a little help from the forces of the universe. At the end of the day, it's up to you whether or not you welcome and accept the guidance of your guardian angels. Okay? You, won't, you, you have been blessed with numerous talents and make sure you don't waste your blessings. So when you see this number, you should let things happen as they should. Stop resisting or hiding from it. Fill your life with light and love and express your desires boldly and bravely. What you put out to the universe, you will attract in your life. In the ending of that moment for the video that will be forthcoming when I'm ready for that, I can say that I was proud of myself because I lived my truth boldly. I told the truth. I loved. It was messy. <laughs> it was messy. It was vulnerable. It was honest. It was hard, but it was the right thing to do. It's what I teach. 
It was, I think, the brave thing to do. Uh, it was aided by a full moon in Leo and Chiron, the wounded healer. From my astrologers and empaths out there, you understand it was messy, <laughs> but I don't regret it. I feel like I left it all on the table. I feel like I said and did all the things I could to say, hey, this friendship matters. And I am not sad about it. This number talks so much about being ready to accept a vibration where there may be changes that are experienced and blessings to be received, but look forward to it because the angels have more in store for you. And they're saying that you need to stay strong and fearless through the tough times because this is how you will grow and make the best life for yourself. Guys, it is okay to let go. It is okay to release. It's okay to not win at love or friendship, romantic, platonic, both. It's okay. It hurts. And to pull myself together today, I had to do a lot. But I realized that God in his infinite wisdom, her infinite wisdom, God in infinite wisdom, the creator always has a plan for us. And even for that person, there's a plan and there's a life lesson and there's a karmic evolution. Sometimes we just have to get out of the way, even if it hurts or breaks our heart. I will be doing a series on female relationships or relationships between women because that is something I hear all the time and I don't think that there's enough work done for it. So I will be uh, creating a series here on this channel so that we can explore the depths of separation um, regarding female relationships, how we grow together and grow apart in adult relationships, how to manage them, how to build them into your life. I am quite passionate about it and uh, I will tell you guys that I come by the information honestly. And as of recent, I have just broken myself open against the rocks so that I can bleed that love out for you guys. I'm telling you, uh, growth for me comes, growth for the other person comes. But for you guys, it's a nice lesson. And I'm going to serve you up a delicious plate of insight <laughs> as soon as I formulate it. I want to thank you for coming and joining me today and come back because we're going to keep doing the work. And we're going to continue to evolve together.